It snowed a silly amount here in the last few days. As I was shoveling my driveway, my next door neighbor, who's a very nice guy, but someone I don't know terribly well, offered to lend me his snow blower. I declined his generous offer. Generous? No, generous. Okay. His Ellen DeGeneres offer. His regenerous <laughs> offer. His regenerous offer. Because I just generally feel uncomfortable taking help from people. Yes. About an hour later, as I was wrapping up the task, the neighbor a few houses down wheeled over his snowblower and suggested I take it to finish the task. Since he had already brought it over to me, I could hardly refuse the generosity. This left me with having to do the end of my driveway and the sidewalk with a snowblower, all of which is very visible the next door neighbor's living room window. Uh, how do I nonchalantly explain my snowblower snub to the next door neighbor? That's from sorry. Uh, I would prefer not to be blown in West Des Moines. Yuck, so just gross, to be clear, yucky. like that didn't track. Next door neighbor offered snowblower. Question yes. answer said no, and then a different neighbor just go ahead, went ahead and wheeled one over. Yeah. And so question asker used that one. Um, I mean, you have several outs here. One, you could say, you know, an hour of manual shoveling is enough to change a man's mind about so many things. Yeah, I started doing it, and I hated it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I also think you could just say, like, well, yours was just words, Frank. Yeah. Like, you, what was I going to do? Walk over to your house and get it? Jerry yeah. brought it to me. He hand-delivered this snowblower. Like, that was a, that was a palpable, I, that was a concrete snowblower that I could see and feel and, and smell. Your snowblower was but dreams. And I think what you could also say is, um, I, I, what you thought I was going to use a snowblower on yard snow? <laughs> no way. Yard snow is good for shoveling only. You don't use blower on yard snow. Mm. That's that's wild. God gave us shovels just for yard snow. Now sidewalk snow, you can you can shoot that with a big gun if you want to. Or well, maybe the, just tell Frank like you know your snowblower was weak and Jerry's snowblower was fleek. He's got you know, a sorry, potent, like, powerful so, snowblower. Sorry, Frank. Jerry doesn't pick his nose. Wait, what? I've, se- I've seen you do- doing the dirty deed <laughs> while you blow snow. You and your friend Zit are hanging out snow, picking, snow. Snow, picking noses. Blow. Yeah, you and Zit have been hanging out getting this. That's me. I mean, I'll do a lip trick off a half pipe, but also, you know, dig for some gold in there. Uh, yeah. But I don't fucking care. Wait, and are it you cool like, but rude? Yeah, so I think that... Um, Gosh, you're not, you're not, I'll tell you what stinks, is not knowing your neighbor very well, and then having an opportunity arise where you could maybe know your neighbor a little bit better, and you just fuck it up completely, and then you're confronted with the reality of, you know, before you're like, I might not ever get to know my neighbor, and then this happens, and you're like, now I am actively moving away from the reality of knowing my neighbor. That's, <laughs> well, I, that's I, I know them less. I yeah. know them less. I negative know them at this point. And and you know what? I don't want to shame the question asker, though, because that impulse would be like, hey, I'd like to offer you something that would help you. And your immediate reaction would be like, no, don't worry about it. Yeah, that's exactly the boat. I, we are in that boat together, my friend. Look, what? look to your left. There's me also rowing this boat. Once the f- person pushed the snowball over, you should have gone back to Frank and said, like, all right, give it to me now. I'm going to do twosies. No. I want to go double fist it, blow all the snow away. Why did you <laughs> decline? Hey, why did you decline it? Shelling snow sucks. Yeah, because, like because it's, I think uh, out here in 2019, as we're becoming the monster, I want to really, uh, I want to reexamine that to 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 include like looking at our own behaviors, right, and like embracing who we are as people, but also changing it, yeah, <laughs> to make it better. You shouldn't have declined the offer. Shelling snow sucks, yeah. and it's nice to give people the opportunity to help. Yeah, it makes people feel good. You should have just take the snowblower. Here's what I've been doing. This is a powerful phrase. If you're like me and your like knee jerk responses to always say like no thank you, powerful phrase that you can introduce in your lexicon. It's this. No, you know what? Like that. Just that phrase will let you 180 on that. that. Is that has not told me anything. You can say well, like you've... no thank you. No, you know what? I actually will use the snowblower thing. Like you can immediately and turn around on a note. It. Yeah, sure. Your re- your revelation is uh, waffling on things. Yes, that's your well because bold I, new direction. I would do the same thing with someone like, "Hey, do you want to use my snowblower?" And I would just immediately say, "Like, no, I got it. Thank you." And in my head, I'm thinking, "Like, what are you doing? Yes, Take the snowblower. It. This sucks." 
And but then I would say like, well, but it's too late now. I already told Frank I don't want to. So then I would say, no, you know what, Frank? I would appreciate the snowblower and let's become BFF. Coffee at my place, something like that. You know what yeah, I mean? I'd, I'd say, hey, you want to use my snowblower? I say, you no, you want to use your snowblower? Here's twenty dollars. <laughs> Do you want to use my twenty dollars? And now we're in a gig economy. <laughs> I guess crazy. what it is. Your neighbor's jealous. Your neighbor saw you didn't use his, and he's very jealous because he wants to get his used by you. And that's all there is to it. So <laughs> he came out silently and just started <laughs> snowblowing your, your yard with his snowblower. Like, see? see? This is good, too. He's very better. jealous. Look what at you, my clean lines. What you can do, you're out of snow. Go in your house. If you have a spice rack, just knock that over to the floor. And then call your neighbor over and say, look, more... <laughs> More dusty stuff, just ready, ready to get, ready and raring to get blown out of the house. <laughs> More debris. If it's, but that, it's just again, you got to be over there before Frank has even done his own yard and borrow it. <laughs> borrow it. You know what? Borrow it without him asking next time it snows. Yeah. You got to make this up to him, and then um, ask him if he wants to use your snowblower. <laughs> And then you get his second grade class to all come to his house and tear up old pieces of paper and throw them up in the air. And you're standing there with a new snowblower furnished by Lowe's with a big bow on it. And you're just smiling. And he smiles. 